system. Some people have um, recorders and microphones. And okay, here we go. Jibbity jibs. Hey guys, you know who it is. Cal. Leslie. And we are back. With the Cinematic Supper Club. Yes. And we have a banger for you tonight. Yes. I'm so excited. Leslie's so in love. I'm so excited. She's such a dog person. Yes. So tonight <laughs> we go. Arthur the King, um, and full range of emotions. Yeah, with um, Mark Wahlberg. Yes. So, and this is actually based on a true story. I know. Oh, by the way, we are here at the Angry, Angry Crab in Atlantic Station. Yeah, interesting Angry Okay. Just yeah. mine's just staying right focused right in the middle. Oh, just stay right there. You keep doing your motion. Right there. Stay right there. Don't do nothing else, man. She's just like a bad kid. I am. Yeah. But, okay, I took notes, but I can't look at my notes because I put them in my phone. <laughs> but listen. Oh. She is so in love with this movie. I love, I, first of all, I like, you know, I love the Wahlbergs. All of the Wahlbergs. They have, you know, Marky Mark in the fourth bunch. Beastie Boy thing. Okay. But anyway, this movie was a great family movie. Absolutely. Based on a true story. Based on a true story. Um, I'm a dog lover, you know. If you follow any of my social platforms, you already know I'm a dog lover. And so just looking at loyalty and friendships. Um, this movie touched on so many things, so many things. Yeah, it was it was it was amazing how just feeding that dog they became bonded. He just fed the dog one time. There was no other communication. The dog but actually was pretty smart on his own, and he could sense danger. Um, he was somewhat protected at the same time when he just met somebody, a stranger that gave him food. And this dog was amazing. He was. He awesome. went 200 and, he and something miles and got there the same time they did. I don't know how that happened, but he was taking shortcuts. Yeah. And the fact that he knew where they were going to be. Right. And he was tracking the meatballs. <laughs> he was sniffing out the meatballs, even though they yeah. ziplined across. But needless to say, um, this was a really good movie. Was like weird, I was, you know, in certain areas, I thought something bad was going to happen. Then I had to tell myself, okay, this is too early in the movie for something bad to happen. I told you that. No, I said it out first. Oh, okay. And then you said it. And didn't say it. Okay. But yes, it was really. This is definitely a good movie to take your kids to. Oh yeah. Family. Teenagers, young right. kids. This is definitely. It's a feel good movie. Definitely a feel good movie. She's still feeling good. Shout out to Lionsgate for making good movies and great content. Right. Family friendly content. We need more of that. Right. We need more feel good things, you know. Yes. But the state that things are in sometimes, we need to feel good movies. So you will walk away from this feeling good. You know. And, and, and you will see the bond between humans and animals. Oh yeah, one of the things I really, really liked What's that? was when they didn't give up. Well, before you even get to the point of them not giving up, the fact that you know the main character, who's played by Mark Wahlberg, picked a handful of people who nobody was perfect, right? Including him, nobody was perfect. They were the underdogs. Nobody expected them to win, and so just having faith and believing in somebody other than yourself. Right. And giving somebody else a, the chance to redeem themselves. Everybody, with the exception of the young lady. The young lady. Was, well, 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 her, her journey was, she was doing it for her father. That was a personal journey. That was a personal journey. She was the only one. But everybody had a personal but, journey. But we don't want to give too time. much of it away because oh, we man, definitely want people to so see it because okay. I know she's going to be talking about yes, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so Leslie, on one out of five stars, what do you get? Five. So we got to say something. We have a great waitress here, Rara. Rara, give a shout out. Hey, y'all. I'm Rara. <laughs> I 
Instagram at official dot rara two underscores. Okay, I do music and I do social interviews. Wow, thank you. Thank you. This is cool. Okay. So follow me. Let's go follow me. <laughs> don't want Rai Rai to go. <laughs> Come back over this way. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm back. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. You're enjoying your little gadget, huh? Yeah, I am. This thing is fun. This is Wait, do, do you have this or do you have one with the lights on it? I have the one that you have. And okay. mine actually has the light jacket put on top of mine. That's cool. The only thing I have is the microphone. Oh. Um, but my voice projects so much, uh -huh. I don't think I need the microphone. No, no, no. That's not even the point. The point is this thing actually gives it more of a, a yeah. clarity when you're talking. So you want me to speak something? Yeah, and these are only like... These are only like 20 some bucks. I don't know, money not an issue. I'm pretty much on this one. Yeah, these are pretty good too. And, but make sure you get this one because it's, it's my iPhone and um, Android. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So here we are. I'm right at Amazon. Another episode of Cinematic Supper Pub. So, like, subscribe, follow, share. And like, again, we, we're we at the, what's the name of it? The Angry Crab, Crab. at Atlantic Station. At Atlantic Station. What are you having tonight, then? I'm going to have the grilled shrimp and noodles with some vegetables. What about you? I'm going to have the grilled salmon over noodles with vegetables. So, so if we you're in the area, yeah, check them out. Check them out. We can't rate them yet. Right. We'll be back with that portion.